Hi, I'm Kaxin Chen. Today, I want to introduce the CostGDN Division, and I will simplify the name as C Division in this video. C Division is an anaerobic bacteria, widely spread in nature and is especially prevalent in soil. It has a dimension of 0.5 to 2 by 3 to 17 micrometers. It is prone farming ground positive bacteria and it grows on broad agar at human body temperature in the absence of oxygen. It produces toxin A and toxin B. It also has an important feature that up to 20% of people with C. difficile get sick again, either because the initial infection never went away or because they are reinfected with a different stream of bacteria. The symptoms of C. difficile include water diarrhea, fever, nausea, and abnormal pain. C. difficile infection covers all over the world. About 453,000 cases occurred in the United States in 2011, resulting in 29,000 deaths. And next, the most unique and important point of this bacteria is that it is most common in people who need to antibiotics for a long period of time. The infection can spread in hospital and nursing homes. In the study sample of hospital, discharge was likely exposed to antibiotics. White patients have a higher CDI rate than black, Hispanic, Asian, and Native American patients. It is because we analyzed CDI rates through the lens of income and hospital stay primary payer. And the level of health care access increase in higher income quartile and with more comprehensive health insurance, CDI risk increase. And next, I want to talk about the transmission of this bacteria. C. deficient is straight in feces. Any surface, device, or material that becomes contaminated with feces may serve as a reservoir for C. deficient spore. CV facial spores transfer to patients mainly where the hand of healthcare personnel who have touched a contaminated surface or item. For example, if a person goes to a doctor's office and prescribes antibiotics, that is put him at the risk of CD facial. And one month later, he breaks his leg and goes to the hospital. A healthcare worker spreads CD facial to him after forgetting to wash hands. For the life cycle, three sources of infection, health care, animal, and environment are indicated. A range of host factors influence C. facial life cycle, as well as the related number of spores and vegetative cell in GERD. Note that the pathogens through stomach eliminate most vegetative cell, but spores survive, and spores germinate and grow up in ordinary. In second and the colon, C. difficile start producing spore again and vegetative cell are excluded by patients during infection. Toxin is produced in the colon. There are many detection methods for C. difficile. Store culture for C. difficile is the most sensitive test available, but this method is labor intensive. Require an operate cultural environment to grow anaerobic bacteria and have a relatively slow turnaround time that is around 48 to 96. So, this makes the method overall less clinic useful. PCR tests, which test for gene encoding toxin B, are highly sensitive and is especially perfect for the precepts of toxin produced CD facial organism. EIA test is detect toxin A, toxin B, or both A and B. Because they are same day tasks that are related, inexpensive, and easy to perform, they are popular with kinetic, with kinetic library. However, there are increasing concern about their related insensitive, that is compared to PCR test. Ironically, the standard treatment for C. difficile is another antibiotics. These antibiotics keep C. difficile from growing, which in turn treat diarrhea and other symptoms. To deal with C. difficile in nature, UV light disinfection is a faster, safe, and efficient technology.
to reduce the risk of C. difficile infection associated with hospital environment. Using UV light disinfection to clean an opaque patient room significantly reduce CDI in high-risk patients who later occupy this room. For the available product test, those that contain high level of chlorine show consistent efficiency against C. difficile spore. Use of chlorine releasing in room can reduce the number of spores within the environment, with some evidence to suggest that it also reduces the risk of recoverment and the spread of C. difficile associated diarrhea. And finally, there are some takeaway points, and this is my reference. Thank you for listening.